YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And uh, we're working on the uh, tar changer. And I've made a few changes since the uh, part one. Uh, I did get the tongue cut off of the trailer and shortened. Now we're just waiting for my thing to come in. This part right here, we're waiting for that to come in. Uh, as soon as it comes in, we can go ahead and drill our holes for our bolt and uh, mount the new one, which is this one here is an inch and seven eighths ball. It takes an inch and seven eighths ball. Uh, the one I ordered takes a two inch ball, so it's an upgrade. Um, so basically, what was left over, I used on the tire changer. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you off of the uh, tripod and give you a walk around and show you the things that I changed on it. So right now I've just got it clamped together. I haven't got everything completely clean, but um, this is just what it's going to look like once it's done without the clamps. All right. Right here is just ignore the clamps and look past those. Now the only thing I got to do with this piece is I got to take and start right here and just bend that out like this a little bit. Just maybe 10 or 15 degrees, if that, um, and then weld this to this. I'd like to change this piece right here because it's the um, chan uh, a square channel. I believe it's strong enough. It just looks god-awful ugly. Um, I don't like it. Uh, we've got our pole in here where it works. And um, instead of the short piece that I was going to put in here, I went ahead and made this piece go all the way down to the base. I changed the base to across and it's not going to flex once it's welded up it ain't going nowhere I can promise you that um, these here pieces came off of the new head that I made if you remember I used that plate before but I changed it because this one right here this stud that would screw in there for going into the lug nut hole in the wheel was for a four lug wheel. All right, and that's the distance from here to the center, from the lug nut hole to the center. So this plate will do the um, four lug. Well, I wanted to add more uh, studs or more stud holes, threaded holes to move the stud in a different location for different like 5 on 5 uh, you know the forward wheels are 5 on 5 so we know that since it's a bigger wheel that the lug nut hole is going to be in a different location further from the center so what I did is I made a new piece. Now, if I want to, I don't know if you guys are in there. This one here is the one that matches the one down there uh, for the four lug wheel that I'm doing on my trailer. But let's say I wanted to do a five on five wheel. All right, well, that's probably gonna fall around about here. 
and I'm hoping that it falls over here so I can put them in a row and then all I have to do is take a straight screwdriver take this stud out move it over to the 5 on 5 location and uh, then I'll be able to use, do the, use this for any wheel uh, you know if I get a different wheel I just move the stud in a different location and drill it out tap it and that way I've got the option for another wheel so that's why I made this shaped like that so that I can I can do a wider variety of wheels now these corners that I cut off of here because this started out as a five by six the uh, corners I cut off of it I had two large ones and two short ones well I decided to go ahead and put them there so when I've got it welded together I'll just go ahead and weld them right there and that'll give it some more support so I put the two big ones like that and a small one there and a small one there and then I changed the head remember I had that bar let me get that bar real quick. Remember that bar that was welded to the side of it like that? Well, that thing was awkward in my way. It hindered me spinning this thing down on the threads. So I just decided to take it off. Now what I did was, I'm going to pop this off here because it's just laying there. What I did, I found a socket that almost fit down in here that's got a half inch thing on the top or half inch where I can put a half inch ratchet on it and I took this and put it in the lathe and turned it halfway down just like I did the nut on the bottom and then I drove it in there now when I go to put this uh, weld all this up I'll weld this I'll weld the nut and that way, if I want to spin it or tighten it, I can tighten it with just a ratchet. Because I've got plenty of ratchets laying around here that I can dedicate one just for the tire machine. And I can even take this pipe and weld it to the side of it and use it for storing my ratchet fork. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of possibilities here. I'm going to put you back on the tripod and we'll go over this. So, there's the head. It'll go on there just like that. And I've evened it up to where each side comes to each one of those corners. So we know that it's centered. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty good thing. Uh, tire changer um, I added more holes here so I can have different locations to allow myself a little more option a little more options so this one here only had three in it in the diagram so I just added another one to it um, and I think that'll work just just fine and now I've got this piece, which is solid square stock, 35 inches long, which is what the uh, direction said. Well, the direction said 34.5. Uh, I just rounded it. <laughs> uh, better to have more than not enough. So now. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is cutting this out right here. You know, cutting a notch out of it. Something like that right there. And then, once I've got the notch cut out of it, then I'll come in here on the other side. If you guys can see that. I'll just come in here on the other side and just round that. Just round it off. And then this will come to a point 
right here on the side. So you guys get the idea. Uh, that side's going to be the easy side. The other side's going to be the hard side. That's the one that puts it back on. Um, I'm not too worried about putting, uh, being able to put the tire back on it. Uh, simply because you can put a tire on without even using a, a bar. Uh, when, I when I change tires and sears, we just grease them up with dishwashing liquid and just slap them down on there, twist it a little bit, and it went all the way down on there. Uh, you can do the same thing with both sides. So that's no big deal. Uh, it's getting it off the problem. Um, so the next video we do is probably going to get to see some welding uh, try out my new Harbor Freight welder and uh, I think this is going to be the finished product the only thing that I would like to change would be this um, I could probably use this but it's just god awful heavy because uh, I've still got this much of it left. It's a good possibility that I can cut them in half. Yeah, I can cut that in half and do this with that, with this pipe or steel, which is probably what's going to happen. So. Expect that to be one of the things that just changed is that right there. Other than that, it's ready to weld. Uh, I do need to make some bushings for here that's going to weld to the pipe. Uh, the reason, I, right now I've just got some temporary brass or copper, chrome plated copper in here are brass and the reason I want to put a steel sleeve in here or shim is because when I, if I go to need to change this to the another, next location I'm going to have to fight with those bushings so I don't want to fight with them bushings so what I'm going to do I'm going to make me some steel ones just like it put them in just like this is right now and then I'll just put a spot weld there on both sides and then take it out and finish welding it up and then run a drill through it to straighten it up if it gets off. Uh, that'd be the only thing that I would change, that and these bars. We know this is going to be solid enough to do it. So you guys just seen me come up with an idea idea so this is going to end part two of the tire changer and we will more than likely finish this up in part three I don't see it going past any any more than three uh, when I get all this base welded up, it's going to be interlocked with each other uh, because of the way I did it. And then I'll just drill some holes in all four corners or all four pieces, and that's where I'll bolt it down. So um, let me think here. Do I have anything that I need to bring up? Nope. I think that's it. So, I guess tomorrow we get to weld and uh, put this thing together. You guys have a good one. Later.